Hey! In this short tutorial, I'll show you how to create an event directory website like Eventbrite or Meetup for free. I'm gonna use WordPress, the most popular website building platform, and HivePress, a free plugin for building any type of directory and listing websites. We'll also use the Listing Hive theme, since it's a free, multi purpose theme, fully compatible with the HivePress plugin. You can follow the link in the description to learn more about HivePress and its themes, check its live demo or ask developers any pre-purchase questions. Ok, so let's start with the theme installation and navigate to the WordPress dashboard first. Go to the Appearance themes page in order to install the Listing Hive theme. Click Add New and find the Listing Hive via the search bar. Then install it and finally activate. Once the theme is activated, you'll get a suggestion to install HivePress, a plugin that powers its event directory features. Proceed by clicking the recommended plugins link and then start the installation. Now simply click the return link and then proceed by activating HivePress. Let's also add some extra features to the event directory to extend its core functionality. Navigate to the HivePress extensions section. This is the list of available extensions that you can purchase or install for free. Let's install messages so users can send private messages. Favorites, to allow them to keep a list of favorite listings. And finally, geolocation, in order to allow users to search events by location. Simply click on the install button and activate the extension once it's installed. Then follow the same steps for other extensions you want to install. In this video, I'll skip the installation of other extensions since it's the same. However, if you want to enable Google Maps on your website, you need to set your Google Maps API key. To do this, go to the HivePress settings section, integrations and paste your Google Maps API key. If you have any trouble getting the Google Maps API key, please follow the link in the description to check our step-by-step -step tutorial. The next step is to split your directory into categories, depending on the type of events you want to list on your website. To add a new category, navigate to the Listings Categories section. Here you need to enter the category name, let it be Festivals. Here you can split your category into subcategories. Fill in the description if necessary and upload the category image. When finished, click on the Add Category button. In the same way, you can add more categories, for example, exhibitions and conferences. Once add all the categories, it's time to add some custom fields specific to event listings. To do this, Go to the Listings Attributes section and click Add New. For example, let's add a date attribute, so users will be able to view the event date and search events by the date range. Here select the date type and allow front editing, so users can specify the date when adding a new event. Then. Mark it as filterable, sortable and select the search field type. It's better to select the date range field type so that users can set the date range when they are searching for events. Finally, define how the attribute value appears on the listing pages by setting its display format. Once you are done, click on the publish button. In the same way, you can add more custom attributes, 
depending on your event directory niche and requirements. Alright, now it's time to add a new event. For example, let's add the first event to the festivals category and do it from the front end to check how it's going to work for users. To do this, go to your website, click on the Add Listing button and select the Festivals category. Now enter the event title, let it be Tomorrowland. Now upload the image, specify the event location, then set the event date, fill in the description and submit it. To approve the new listing, go to the listing section. Find it and simply publish it. Finally, let's set up a front page for your event directory. It's crazy easy to add and customize new layouts since HivePress is integrated with the WordPress block editor. In order to add a new page, go to the Pages Add New section. Firstly, Fill in the page title. Now let's add some layout blocks. For example, let's add the event search form. Simply click on the plus icon and select a block that you want to add. In the same way, you can add a block that displays categories and another one that displays recently added events. Once you finish customizing the page content, you can publish it. In order to use it as a front page, navigate to the Settings Reading section. Select it from the drop-down list and save changes. Now let's take a look at the home page and the new blocks we have just designed. Here we got Categories recently added events and the search bar with an optional location search. But let's also check the festivals category and try searching for an event we have added. As you can see, the event is displayed along with the date attribute value and we can search events by the date range. That's it! So. If you want to build an event directory website like Eventbrite or Meetup using WordPress, keep in mind that you can easily create it with the Listing Hive theme and the HivePress plugin. They are both free, lightweight and suitable for building any type of directory and listing websites. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or you can follow the link in the description to learn more about HivePress, its themes and extensions. Have a great day!